Hello, everybody, and welcome. Ash, you know what day it is today? Transformational, Transformational Tuesday. Tuesday. So as always, we want to ask you a few questions about your journey, how you got here, and where you're going. So first, let's talk about how did you hear us? Uh, way back a few years ago, back at NLT, I was actually on holidays with my family in my hotel room, feeling sorry for myself, okay. feeling fat. Yeah. I messaged Jen Matcher. She responded right away while I was in Mazatlan. Yeah. She booked me in while I was in Mazatlan. Thanks. And the minute I got back, I hit NLT floor. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, NLT was our original brand, and we were in the basement of the dungeon, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was. We got, we got a little bit of an upgrade with the blue here. I love it. So what was your life like before joining NLT slash Big Club? Um, I gained a uh, crap ton of weight. I was 182, uh, five one, so that's a lot of weight on a short person. Um, I have a spine disease, so I was on chemotherapy treatments um, and other medications that just made me feel sorry for myself. So I was doing nothing but eating, sleeping, and looking after a few kids. So the, the, the meds probably made you feel tired, exhausted, like... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then you just gain weight that way? And eating, not looking after myself. Okay, makes sense. So what about now? What changes have you made ever since? I rejoined twice. Mm -hmm. I was right. sick a few times, but I've come back. I'm giving it my all. Yeah. Um, I'm off a lot of the meds. Mm -hmm. I'm starting some new meds, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not giving up. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to continue to push through. Eating mm -hmm. is the huge and the exercise. Right. And escaping for that 30 minutes on the blue. Yeah, one of the things they say is the, is to distract yourself with something that makes you feel good. And so a lot of people have a lot of things connected into their eating behaviors. And if you can just distract yourself for 30 minutes, even five, six days a week, it's a way for you to escape all that and draw yourself out of kind of like, as you build up the routine to get better habits. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I think that's a, a, a point we should touch on is that a lot of people think that you're going to get it the first time. You don't. Right? A lot of people walk into the door and they're super intimidated and then they try and then they fail and, you know, they have all the right intentions, but sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes three. Like this I is think not I'm easy. on my fourth time. Fourth time trying? Like every yeah. single time everybody welcomes me back on the mm -hmm. blue 110%. I love that. I love that. So do you remember your first day? I do. Okay. So I let's do. talk about it. Um, actually, Big Mama was there. We had a picture. Oh, yeah. Um, I know you were training. Yeah. Uh, and the first thing was is we had to do laps. Okay. Yeah. To warm up. Yeah. I couldn't do one lap. Okay. I couldn't. My yeah. knees, I was sick. I was sore. But now, I think I could probably do about 10 laps. That's phenomenal. So that's one of the results that you've, uh, uh, like, obtained is oh, being okay. able to have that conditioning and endurance to be able to run. Is there anything else, like, any other results that you could think of? The weight, the yeah. inches, mentally, like mm -hmm. mental, like my mental physical state is 500 times better. Okay. Like absolutely. I'm off any type of that type of medication, like mm -hmm. antidepressants. I'm off all that mm -hmm. because of coming to the gym. Yeah. Well, you said that you can, you get flush, right? Oh, big so, time. Yeah. So it's probably as long as your body is kind of flushed, you probably feel the effects of the workout. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And the, like ephedrine in my body <laughs> and euphoria is just like yeah. all day I can go. If okay. I, Saturday, Sunday yeah. are my lazy days. Yeah. I'm lucky if I get 5,000 steps in. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. So outside of the welcoming environment that Fit Club provides, is there anything else that you could think of that you love or enjoy about working out here? Just all the people, the coaches, the people, the welcoming. Mm -hmm. Everybody's at a different stage of their journey, mm -hmm. but everybody's welcome all together as one. Yeah. And I think that's important is that for me, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life right now just because of all the coaching and all the like the body weight workouts that we've done and I don't want to go backwards mm -hmm. but at the same time I think we've all been there and so when people walk through the door you just have to start somewhere right and like for you you started you stopped you started you stopped you started you stopped you started you stopped mm -hmm. and now you're starting and and you grew from each kind of like obstacle that you've overfaced each time that you've oh, kind of like stopped you didn't quit because quitting is forever mm -hmm. right you just took a break, you came back, and then you gained that that perseverance to uh, continue to grow. So let me ask you this, what would you tell somebody that is in a similar position as when you started that they're sitting at home, you know, COVID kind of like, try it, right? 
try so, it. So that's it. Just, just come and try it. Yeah. You will not feel ashamed. You will not be embarrassed. Everybody will welcome you with open mm -hmm. hands. You're a family. They give you all the support, all the tools, and you'll want to come back. You strive for more. Well, there we have it. Transformational Tuesday. Thank you, Ash. I appreciate Thanks you being me. on the show. And we'll see you on, on the, the blue. blue. <laughs>